Hello from Suncoast. A friend pointed out to me that um, the subtitles in my video are a little distracting from the uh, images and I thought I would narrate a little bit the uh, experience that I had at uh, Lake Arrowhead Village. Lake Arrowhead is about 90 miles east and slightly north of Los Angeles, so it's uh, accessible. It's about an hour and a half to two-hour drive. It's a reservoir that is situated at an elevation of 5,100 feet or so. and was erected in Norman style and opened to the public in 1922. By 1970, the village had fallen in total disrepair. It was dilapidated and uh, it had to be torn down. In uh, 1978, two investors, Colt and Jackson, purchased the property and they decided to redevelop Lake Arrowhead Village. There is a story that says that uh, Mr. Colt was reputed to say that if the termites had quit holding hands, the buildings would have fallen down. That's how dilapidated the area was. Since the old buildings were a fire hazard, it was decided that the local fire departments could gain knowledge by conducting burning exercises. So in 1979, over the course of one month, Burn to Learn exercises were set up and while the fire departments were going through the burn to learn exercises, SWAT teams were conducting maneuvers in this warlike zone. Lake Arrowhead Village was reopened in 1981. One of the nice things that I saw in the, uh, Lake Arrowhead was the uh, uh, shoreline, which had all types of birds, and you could actually obtain feed for the birds from the local store that is across the boardwalk and uh, you can feed the birds. Lake Arrowhead Village attracts 3 million visitors yearly. Visitors can learn about the history of the area by taking a 15-minute tour on the Arrowhead Queen. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and please subscribe.